Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Mumble Lee. Welcome back to another video. And today we got part two of the how to make crazy coins while sniping in FIFA 23 Ultimate Team. If you missed part one of that video where we showed silver league SBCs such as the Air to Bs in League One, how to snipe for those, pause this video right now. It's gonna be the first link in the description. I told you guys once that video hit 25 likes, we'd make a part two. This is the part two, so you're gonna to wanna to watch that first and then come back here. All right, now that you've come back here or you've already watched that video, we are gonna show you the part two. So quickly to go over part one, you would pick a team in a league. You would see how much the cards were going for on the market. Right here, for example, we can see that everything is going for around 1,300 to 1,500. You find cards that you can snipe for less from the team. This one was 850. What's the next cheapest buy now for this card? That easy, we start off with a deal right off the bat. We're gonna list that for 1,600. As you see, that was really good coins there. We made a couple hundred coins, and by a couple hundred, it's like, what? I can't even do math right now. 600, 700. Um, anyways, that was really good profit. Now, we're going to show you how to get even more profit by using a similar method, but we're going to use Footbin to help us out. So let me go to the display cap real quick. Let me go to Footbin. If you haven't been to Footbin before, footbin.com. You're going to go over to the live section after you go to active challenges. You're going to scroll down to the premium winter league upgrade. Here you're going to be able to click in and you're going to see all these squads listed that people have SBC solutions for. If you don't know what this is or what it's used for, a lot of people who don't know how to complete the league SBCs will come here to see what is the cheapest on the market so they don't overpay. But in reality, they end up overpaying a lot. Here's the team um, I was just showing you us sniping with on the PlayStation. Um, and I'll explain why this is important. So if you notice, it says these are going for a little less than 14,000 for the SBC. Now, if you take each price of the player and add them up, could that be true for that moment? Maybe, but the price is constantly gonna change. Here is one of those players. This is a right back in the team. It's saying he's currently around 2K in here. And if we take a look at his hourly graph from yesterday, you'll notice something. He was at 2,500. He got down to 1,400, 1,100, got back up to 2K, got down to 1,800, and then he skyrocketed to 3,600. So one of the things that we've been doing with you guys is we've been telling you no matter what the number's at, you're sniping for less than that. So if the whole team's kind of going for, let's say, um, about 12, uh, 1,900 to 2K, you'd be sniping for like maybe 1,500, 1,600. That way you get a couple hundred coins no matter what. If you snipe it for way less than that as a team, you can get even more profit. Now, this is taking that same idea, but noticing a trend with the players and the teams. So you're gonna wanna use a team you're comfortable with. You don't necessarily have to use this one. You're gonna probably wanna track these players for about a day or so when you're doing these snipes. You don't have to crazy invest or anything to start off, but you're just gonna notice when you're sniping, huh, it seems like this player's being used quite a bit. It seems like this team's used quite a bit. Um, and you're gonna notice the hops and leaps in this. So what I would recommend is find players that typically you can pick up for um, between the range of 1500 to 2000 is my go-to if you've seen them get to 3k plus especially you know there's a good amount of room for them to grow now the way this works is you want these to show up in the cheapest solution which means they have to be the cheapest available on the market if you're constantly sniping them for like let's say 1100 1200 it's probably going to push the price up but if it's not the cheapest SBC on the market, people are not gonna have that show up in the SBC solution, and they're not gonna be able to have these cards go rapidly crazy in price to 3.6K. So essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna buy at that lower point, but you're just gonna hold and wait until those cards fall off the face of the planet. Now, how does that happen? People undercut each other. Um, there's a lot of supply. There's a lot of these cards on the market. Other SBC solutions are being used more than this one. Therefore, all those players are rising like crazy. Therefore, not as many people are looking here. And then once these kind of bottom out, hit their absolute bottom, they'll start showing up in those SBC solutions. And that's when you'll start seeing the rise in these players. Now, how can you personally take advantage of this? You can look at the cheapest at the time and try to react accordingly. So if you see the cheapest right now is 15,000, we go in. Uh, we'll try to do this live for you guys. You're gonna see this is using one of our favorite go-to teams um, in the Air Divis, and you'll notice that it's going for less than 14,000 coins. Let's go back to console and see if we can take advantage of that, because we know these prices are probably gonna shoot up more now that it's being used in the SVC solution. So if we go here, we'll see how much they're going for. Go to 1,600, 
Nothing selling for that. We go higher. There we go. One's at 2K. I'm going to snipe that because I don't know what the rest are at. We're going to compare price. See, this one is already going for 2,600 coins. I'm going to send this to the transfer list and see if there's more room for it to grow. We're going to notice to see if these go up too. So it looks like they are on the rise. If we go to 2,600, everything is selling within the hour. So these are going to continue to get bought out. So what I'll do now is I'll kind of keep my eye on these. If I can pick up anything under 2K, I'm just going to hold on to it. Because uh, I know already we can sell them for uh, over 2.6K or bare minimum 2.6K in the hour. But as people continue to use these cards, their price should continue to increase. I can lazy list if I want, put them way higher, um, or I can just pull everything off the market and essentially wait till it reaches its peak. Now, what are the pros and cons of that? The pros is if it reaches its peak, let's say these get to 3.5K plus, you could make a crap ton of coins off of it. The con could be that a lot of people see that these are extremely high in price. They have their investments too. They try to list them for less than you, which brings the price back down and you lose the ability to sell it at that higher price. And you have to go back later and wait for it to get lower in price. Uh, that's always going to be the case. You kind of have to time the market. You're not always going to win, but you can always sell into that, um, sell into that hype. Uh, don't be afraid to overlist. If it doesn't sell, you can hold on to it for next time. Um, I would recommend best way to do this. In my opinion is again, stick to like a team or two that you can really study, have an idea of where their prices are going to go for. Um, do my brain just went blank for a second. I'm sorry. I'm recording this super late at night. Um, but yeah, as you see there, if I'm sniping at 2000, I'm trying to wait for it to get to 2700 all the way up to 3k. That's best case scenario. If I'm sniping at 2k and gets to 3k, that's a thousand coins. That's a lot better than just a couple hundred sniping at that certain point, but we could do even better. If we picked up these cards closer to 1500 or sniped them at 1500, held them until they showed up in SBC solution, went to 3k plus, we were essentially doubling our coins on every single card there. So the most coins you can make from this, the investment side of it is patience, patience, patience. Um, I know a lot of people don't want to do that though, me included. I'd rather take like 500 to a thousand coins and constantly flip those over and over. So that's kind of up to you at the end of the day. Let me know what you think about this method. It's essentially taking the sniping idea we did before by having more market knowledge and market awareness of the fluctuation of prices and essentially having the prices do the work for you. If you're making 500 per card, um, and let's say you sell X amount to make X amount of coins and you want to double the amount of coins you could make, there's two options. You could either double the amount of snipes you get for that price range and keep selling at that price, which is gonna most likely double the time minimum that you're gonna be on the game. Or you could have patience, have the same amount of cards you had as before, and just wait until the price doubles or the amount of profit you get per card doubles. And it's the same result. So that's just something to think about. We're gonna be going more into that in the future. We're about to hit a million coins, which is crazy. We we're just at 50K the other day. Literally all from silver sniping for the most part with air to Uh But yeah, we'll catch you later. It's been a boy, Mumble I'm out. God bless.